The school was out of business at last and it was only later that he learned that it was due to some irregularities. The Gazeta report spoke with some teachers with students. One of them always gave an interview and talked about the situation. He, who has been following the progress of the process more like this, gave details about the process and you can check all this in the Gazeta printed in Gazeta News. Look, I hope it is solved of course. If this network was actually purchased by one or another company. It's good how nice it is that it's a serious company to be fundamental. They will have to change your name, right? Inevitably they will have to change your name, but in the end it is a serious company and students can go back to studying. Most students in this network of schools were Brazilian. There were also students from other nationalities but the absolute majority were Brazilians formed by Brazilians. I gave you good news and more details about this matter but more information about the you can find it on our gazetanews.com portal or in the printed newspaper somewhere near you. And since we are talking about justice cases today, let's talk about another one that would also involve two United States residents who are still talking about the case of Joauda but this complaint is not sexual abuse, but child trafficking. This is a very serious complaint that was made by a Brazilian woman. Sabrina joked that she has been using social media to talk about the matter and she said that she leads a group that has been helping in the investigation of these she claims to have given information and interviews from relatives of people who would have bought the children and people who would have according to her complaint, which has already been referred to the public ministry and that there really are signs that the police department is already investigating this case and that the young man, 